Are you tired of getting that rejection letter? Oh, and your hopes are dashed? I'm gonna share tips on how to nail your next audition. For more advice and tips on vocal auditioning, hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications on videos just like this, where I help you navigate the world of musical theater. If we haven't met yet, I am T.L. Baker, musical theater coach, vocal performer. Let's dive in. Visualization is an incredible tool for your success. So what I want you to do is close your eyes Imagine yourself at the audition and you're walking into the room with a smile on your face. You set your music down. You tell the accompanist how your song wants to go and they're like, thumbs up, great. You walk to your mark, you smile, you slate with confidence clearly and strongly. And then you go into your song and it feels amazing. And you're still visualizing yourself performing to your utmost magical power degree, right? And then you finish, you say thank you, and you grab your music and you walk out and you did the most incredible job you've ever done. That is the key to visualization because if you can put it into your mind that you will have a successful audition, guess what? You will have a successful audition. Which brings us to our next tip, preparation. So this is where your point of power is and you have all the control in how much you prepare. Did you take the time to do your song analysis? Do you have a character backstory? Do you have an inner monologue? Do you know where the rests are? Do you know where your entrances are? Do you know the accompaniment behind you? So that if you get lost, you can jump right back in right? Have you taken the time to memorize your song front, back, forwards, upside down, <laughs> like the back of your hand? Really prepare your song. Make sure it's in the correct key, that you know the accompaniment is in the correct key, that your cuts make sense, that you have a beginning, middle, and end. All of this is in your control. So be, be prepared, as Scar says. Next tip, focal points. Where am I supposed to look? I like to do something called grounding. So if you're singing about a house on a hill, where is that house? Ground it in your space. So say it's off in the distance over here. That's where the house on the hill is. Say you're talking about your father. Let's put him over here so that you have different focal points. And I always recommending having the center be a focal point as well. So you can start or end there. And if you're thinking about something, I highly recommend looking up. Whatever it is, don't look down at the floor. How did your last audition go? Will you tell me in the comments below how your audition went? And if you have any questions for me, I'd love to answer them. Slate. What is a slate? Well, it's your introduction. It's your name, first and last, and the content to which you are performing. So whether it's a monologue or a song. So you're gonna say the title of the song and the show that it's from. And sometimes in youth theater, they want you to say your age or what grade you're in. This is an opportunity when you perform your slate to show the auditor how you would perform your lines. So make sure that you are rehearsed and that you've practiced your slate and then gone into your song because it's part of your audition. Don't leave it to the last minute. It's also important not to rush, but to speak and articulate very clearly and slowly and to project, which means be louder than you would in a conversation with a person right in front of you because they're probably the auditors are going to be 10 to 15 feet away so sing out Louise stay focused in the waiting room so this is your time to help prepare your mind and your body for your audition say that you're on deck so Someone has gone in that was right before you and they're like, TL, you're on deck. This is my time 
to close my eyes and do my squared breathing, which is breathing in for four, hold for four, exhale for four, and hold for four. This helps get my nervous system in check and get my breath activated. Because if I'm feeling nervous, you know, I feel my heart start to race and flutter right before I go in. And I don't consider it a bad thing. I think it's a good thing because I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I get to, I get to sing. I get to perform. I'm so excited. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And so to counteract that adrenaline rush, I do my breathing and I close my eyes and I rehearse my lyrics if I need to in my head and off we go. Have fun, right? Keep moving forward. So this tip is about finding a positive thing that happened at the audition. Every audition is a learning experience, even if you didn't get cast in the show. I want you to remember that you're doing this because you love it and there's always something good in everything, right? Just like Galinda says, I want you to compliment yourself. Every audition has a valuable lesson encapsulated inside of it. So find that valuable lesson if it felt like an amazing audition than it was because your feelings and how it felt to you is a wonderful indicator as to whether it was a good or bad audition and even if it was a bad audition there's a learning lesson in there oh maybe i need to practice more or oh understand my character better before i go in or ground myself i felt like i didn't have my voice wasn't ready for this song i went too big too fast and overshot my my mark so find the learning lesson and keep moving forward now you have the basic understanding to nail it every time if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this and if you want to do some vocalizing, I've got some great warm ups. Check them out right here. Have a great day. Thanks so much for sharing your time with me. Thanks for watching.